Hi, it's Debbie from the Austin Public Library Children's Room. Welcome back to I Heart Art. This week, our artist is Barbara Hepworth. Dame Barbara Hepworth was a British artist and sculptor. She was also one of the few women artists of her generation to achieve worldwide renown. Around the 1930s, she started making her sculptures more abstract. She has sculptures that are in places all over the world. Her largest sculpture, which is called Single Form, is in front of the United Nations Plaza in New York. She received many awards and honorary degrees during her lifetime, including getting the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire, which gave her the right to use the title Dame. Here is one of Barbara Hepworth's sculptures. While you're looking at it, think about these questions. What do you notice? What does it make you think about? Why do you think she created it? The name of this sculpture is Oval Sculpture Number 2, and she created it in 1943. It is made of plaster, and currently it's at the Tate Museum in London. It was inspired by the nature that she saw around her. Much of her earlier work included circles and spheres, but later on she started working more with ovals. She said that as a child, one of her earliest memories was driving through the countryside with her family, and she never forgot the shapes made by the roads, the hills, and the fields, and they inspired some of her later artwork. So let's make some art. Here's what you'll need. You need one bar of white soap. Use inexpensive soap. Don't use fancy soap that costs a lot of money. You're just going to be carving it away. You also need some carving tools, a butter knife or a plastic knife. A pair of scissors, safety scissors will work, a potato peeler, um, paper clip, and also you'll need a pencil. If you need some help, don't forget to ask a grown-up. You don't want to work with anything that's sharp. I don't want anyone to hurt themselves. Step one. Once you've decided what you want to carve, draw your design on both sides of the bar of soap. Feel free to do whatever you like. You can make something abstract, as Hepworth did, or you can make something that you like that you can actually see in the real world. Step two, use a knife to cut off the corners. Don't forget that you can ask an adult to help you. You don't want to use anything sharp and hurt yourself. Step three, carefully scrape away at the bar of soap and reveal your design. Take your time, there's no hurry. Scissors work great, a butter knife will work. A potato peeler is great for smoothing the edges. Step four, now you can make small details and marks on your bar of soap. This is where the paper clip will come in handy. Step five, keep carving away until you're satisfied with your design and that's it, enjoy your sculpture. Now you are a sculptor as well. I'd really love to see what you've made this week. Please feel free to share photos of what you've created on the library's Facebook page or you can email them to us at oplkids at wlsmail.com. Dot org. Thanks for joining me this week. I'll see you next week for the last week this summer for iHeartArt.